Now, only 12 people have had the privilege of ste uh, stepping foot on the moon, starting with Neil Armstrong back in 1969. Since then, we've been obsessed with lunar travel. And now a history-making mission awaits. Here we go. This morning we can reveal in a Today exclusive a look at the next Aussie in space, Ruva the Robot. He's a work of our special relationship with NASA. Joining us now is Enrico Palermo, head, the head of the Australian Space Agency, and the designer Ben Sorensen. Enrico, our first look at Ruva here. How did Ruva come about? Yeah, good morning. So Ruva is, is a realisation of what Australia can offer the world. We uh, excel in mining and resources and our ability to operate mine sites remotely with humans and, and robots autonomously. And our partners in NASA said, hey, how, how can you help us uh, join the Artemis mission? And so this is a, a mission that supports uh, humanity's return to the moon and not just the return, but the permanent um, uh, sustainability on the moon. OK, so Ben, you're the brains behind this design. Tell us about some of the features of Ruva. Well, I've got to say, I'm not the brains. We've got a <laughs> wonderful team of some of Australia's finest scientists and engineers who have worked on this for about the last 18 months to design and test a robot which uh, is fit for purpose to go to the moon and undertake a science mission up there. So. Um, about uh, 50 people have been involved over the last 18 months putting their hard work and uh, all of the things they've learnt and studied over the years into this. That's very humble of you yeah, to is. not take the credit. I love this. Enrico, <laughs> get, get a bit more specific. What's Ruva's main mission? So its main mission uh, on the surface of the moon is to collect lunar soil, also known as regolith. And the reason we're going to collect it is to use some advanced sensors to understand its composition, its mechanical properties. Does it contain oxygen? Does it contain water? And that's going to be important for science and engineers uh, to develop and design uh, future missions to the moon, both uh, robotic uh, and, and human uh, landing missions. But more than that, this is about uplifting uh, the robotics capability of the nation. Uh, it's about inspiring the nation. There's kids that can wake up today and know that they work in, in Australia and can study STEM uh, and work on things like Luna Rovers. Um, and really lifting the economy. This, every dollar we spend on this program is invested here in Australia uh, to uplift our skills. Good on you. This is, a, this is amazing. Um, ben, a, a, this is a big deal to be in partnership with NASA on a project like this for little old Australia and Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah, NASA's been doing this for around 70 years. So as a partner, um, we get to benefit from all the experience they've had for space flights and building their own rovers for the moon and for Mars. So the features that we've designed into this, um, we get the benefit of their knowledge transfer while we've designed it all here in Australia um, and, and built this all here in Australia. It's certified Australian made. So it's, it's a great privilege for us to work with the leaders uh, in space around the world with NASA and others. Good to see the Australian Space Agency as an equal opportunity employer. It looked like there was a kangaroo mm. as part of the engineering staff there. Lounging before. around. Outstanding. Enrico, when is Ruva <laughs> going to be launching? There it is. So the plan, we're working the final details with NASA, but Ruva will fly on a, a NASA rocket uh, to the moon later this decade. But that journey is well underway. Uh, we are designing, we're building uh, this prototype and it will have a, a testing program quite extensively over the coming years. Thank you, gents. Good luck with it all. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our <laughs> YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?